Ghani Adams Blues Halt sends a strong message to Northern leaders over Governor Matawa's statement. Hello, my wonderful people. Ghani Adams is the leader of the OPC, um, the Kakofo of Yoruba land. And um, he's not happy with some of the words that um, the governor uh, of Zamfara State has mentioned. You know, some of the words he mentioned and statement he has sent that um, the North will soon start retaliating on the South. If you think about it seriously, if you've been following the course of events, you will wonder who is retaliating on who. Because if you know the massacre and the evil that has been done by the North and the South, I don't think there is really need for retaliation. Anyway, uh, go, no, Governor of um, uh, Governor of uh, uh, Zamfara said Northerners are being killed in the south and if the southern governors and leaders do not protect them, the north will start a revenge mission on the southern and so live in the north. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Danny Adams blows hot sends a strong message to northern leaders over Governor Matawa's statement. The, Aram, and the Akakofo of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, has once more spoken. This time around, he spoke in anger and also sent out a strong and important message to northern elders over a recent statement made by a governor, the governor of Zamfara State, Bello Matawa. It should be recalled that Governor of Zamfara State said that the South should not expect the North to help them out in solving the problem of insecurity in their region if they continue to kill Northerners in the South. While speaking, the Ara Anomu Akakofu of Yoruba land, first of all, debunked the allegation that was made by the Governor of Zamfara State that Northerners were being killed or are being killed in the South. He further urged the Northern leaders to call Zamfara a state governor to order. This is rather an unfair statement. Things that are going on, the kidnapping, most of the kidnapping, asking for ransom, kid raping, murder are being committed by northerners who come here in the disguise of cattle rearing, come to injure and kill our people in their very own land. Yet you are saying the southerners are killing the north. If there are issues between Southerners and Northerners, go sit down, investigate the origin. You will find out that it was caused by the Northerners. Most times, who go into people's farms without invitation, destroy the crops and the farms. And when the farmers speak and ask why they are why their cattle are on their farm, they take out their cutlasses or their uh, machetes to cut them and to kill them. Do you know how many Southerners have been killed, women raped, communities that have been deserted? Do you know Yorubas now live in exile? They are foreigners in another man's country. Go and ask Niji and see how Yorubas have left their land. There is a lot more going on because the people are quiet. They feel everything is going well in this country. This is rather an unfair statement from the governor of Zamfara State saying they will retaliate. Retaliate on who exactly? The South has been quiet. Our leaders have not spoken the way they should. They have not protected their people. Yet, you speak about retaliation. We have to be very careful what statements we are making and who is making that statement. The elders of the North should be very careful in making statements that will incite war and trouble in the land. That is the Agam, that is the uh, Kakofu of Yoruba land, Ghani Adam speaking, and I'm rather very not happy with the statement made by uh, a governor who should actually be speaking, uh, you know, uh, how to, on how to resolve issues and how things should be better. The governor of Zamfara State recently has made a statement, you know, that has, you know, uh, not gone down well with a lot of Southerners. He said uh, people in the Northerners in the South, you know, uh, are being, are being uh, killed. I, you know, I, I don't get where this is coming from because, you know, you know what happened, you know, after the incident of what happened in a boy state, uh, it's been said that um, about 
now um, seven men who are selling suyas have been uh, they've been a soft target that uh, they've been killed or slaughtered by some unknown men this is why he's raising this alarm you know um, which is which is a fair statement uh, that um, people are the northerners are being killed however the northerners that are that are killing people in the south do you know you they said seven uh, men that sell suya were killed in a boy state because i mean it in retaliation for what you know they did to some communities however this the same governor matawa did not speak and even the governor of Ebony state did not really what you know the slogan that came out after ensa sorosuke did not really sorosuke the governor maybe he did maybe you heard him but i did not hear him speak like somebody whose son or daughter whose brother or sister niece or nephew cousin you know, was killed because, I mean, they are not related to him. He does not feel the, he, he felt indifferent about it. That's the way I, I, I really perceive it. And now the governor of Zamfara state is rather inciting so much tension, saying that they are going to retaliate because, um, these seven uh, Fulanis were killed uh, who sells uh, suya, like you, like I earlier reiterated, and nobody, says, nobody protected them. So he's going to make sure that uh, there is retaliation. And people are wondering, you know, Amu uh, Kakofo has said, this is not, uh, Ghani Adams rather, has said, this is not right from a governor coming from a governor that um, they will continue on retaliation or they would, the North will start retaliating. Did, 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 have, did you speak about the the people who were in their homes who were not they're not it's not they're not like there was a battle they were not ready they, they i mean they went to bed with their eyes closed after the day work ready you know to get on with work the next day and before they know it they were gone these are people's sons daughters these are people's fathers you know i mean all this inciting of uh evil and war and this and that being instigated by you know quarters is not i don't think is the right thing at all to be saying that kind of thing i don't think is the right thing to do you know these are people who should be speaking uh and you know uh discussing with the governors you did not even ask the governor of the state what happened to the uh, they said 15 but actually some other person said about 25 people 10 is taken out of the number that we are killed and if you listen to the woman who was who escaped narrowly said they were boasting that listen if you think you're going to anything is going to happen nothing will happen we will go scot free nobody can hold us um because our people are the ones in power do you see what is going on and you say people are the ones oppressing them i mean this is what is happening you know so please nigerians what do you think uh, this is uh, the third pattern of leaders you know people in the north how do you expect the country to move forward leave us a comment god bless you have a lovely and a fantastic day bye for now